<laughs> okay. Now, guys, <laughs> what are the odds here? Because Dominican Republic, right? Yes, sir. Yes. And then you both wind up in Connecticut. Yes. And you both wind up working at the same place. Yes. yes. <laughs> and you have... You, you haven't crossed paths before that. No. And you work together for 10 months. Yes. yes. <laughs> I know it sounds crazy. <laughs> it is crazy. You two may be crazy. That's yes. a good possibility. I'm that's a professional. Right. I know about these things. <laughs> so you've been working there 10 months before you ever even really knew each other. Yes. Yeah, so Julia was actually working there first. Yeah. Um, and then... I came along and it was a huge place. And so I worked on one side, she worked on the other side. So we didn't even meet each other until months later. So when you first met, when you first met Julia, what did you think? Did anything click? You just met her, right? Uh, Dr. Phil. So Julia <laughs> walks past me and she says, oh, are you Dominican? Because she saw something. She saw my tattoo she on my arm. She has a flag right here. Okay, and, she was wearing uh, a tank top. It's big. Dr. Phil, I didn't have time for that, okay? <laughs> I, I, had to, I had to get to work. So yeah. I kind of brushed her off. And then I had mumbled something of the effect of, well, I'm adopted from there. And she said, well, me too. And then that is what sparked my interest to speak to Julia. She just downplayed that so bad. Let me tell you, she dissed me, Dr. <laughs> Phil. She ran past me and said, yeah, but I'm adopted. <laughs> she dissed me. She's fine. Yeah. Jokingly, we had turned to our coworkers and I said, um, y'all think we look alike? And they were like, oh my God, you guys look just alike. And I was like, yeah, we're sisters, duh. As a joke, right? It was a huge, it was just a joke that everybody was in on. We loved it. Yeah, well, there's more than 300 million people in America. <laughs> And you two wind up working at the same place up in Connecticut, which isn't next door to the Dominican Republic. Correct. Okay. <laughs> All right. So, but you you did a DNA test. Yes, and, I did it first. Right. And and you you found out you had a family. Yes. Yes. So I did. Um, I actually received the kit for Christmas from uh -huh. my adopted mom. Uh -huh. um, and then I sent in the kit and I got my results back a couple weeks later. And um, with this kit, when you take it, your relatives come in order how they're closest related to you. Right. So there was someone that had popped up and I said, well, I don't know who, you know who this is, who also happens to live in Connecticut. So I contacted him and I said, you know, this is my name. This is where I'm from. And I sent baby photos and he said, oh yeah, give me like 10 minutes. Very casual. I've been wanting this moment my entire life and it's going to go down in 10 minutes. And his mom came back and said, oh yeah, I know who her mom is, dad is. And I just got photos of my brothers, sisters, my uncles, my aunts. I mean, they were just coming in so fast. Okay. So you two start chit-chatting. You, you've now found your family. Yes. You've met them. You know them. Yes. Okay. Did they, have you started talking to her yet? No. So uh, I had moved to Virginia Beach afterwards. And she's like, hey, you know, how are you? I'm really happy for you. And I was like, yeah, like you should do it too. And she was like, yeah, no. This kind of gets a little messy. Um, I was adopted on the same day, same time as my best friend. And so our paperwork, to our knowledge, was correct. Now, obviously, coming to find out it wasn't correct. But. They got switched. They got yeah. switched. So, so back then when we had initially compared our paperwork, because we thought oh, maybe we could be sisters, but like, who knows? But they didn't match. But this wasn't another family member. It was just another person. Right. Well, now that we've done our DNA, she's like our third cousin or something. Do you have a story or a question for me? Click the link in the description and tell me what in the world is going on.